Hello student. Today we will see the new topic feedback circuit. Okay. In this class, uh, we are going to discuss series shunt feedback circuit. So let me start with the basic. So the given problem statement is basic source follow circuit. So in, you know in source follow circuit the output will be taken from the source. The input is given in the gate, the common terminal is your drain, right. So other name for source follower circuit is a common drain configuration. So another important thing is your voltage gain is almost 1, when unit. So your RS is 1.5 kilo ohm and VTN is 1.5 2 voltage and lambda is 0 okay then your drain current is given 1.2 milliamps so I want to find what is the transfer function it is a voltage transfer function and output impedance when kn equal to 1.5 in the another question when condition parameter is increased by 50 percentage that is 2.25 Right, we want to find what is the percentage of change in the transfer function. This AVF equal to V0 by VA and R0 F. When you look at this circuit, you can see the input is the gate, the output uh, taken the source point, this is RS feedback resistance, and this is a biasing circuit. See, when you look at the circuit, you can identify what type of feedback it was given. So I will give the shortcut hint how to identify when you see the output is the source, the taken from the source, the feedback also taken from the source. If both are taken at the same terminal, we can say that is a voltage or shunt. So this is called sampling part, right? Sampling part. When you speak about a mixing part, that is a feedback part. The RS is indirectly connected to the input, not directly. So that means the mixing part is serious. So finally, the circuit identified as shunt series. Other name is voltage series. So this is a simple method to identify the to, by, to identify the circuit. Okay, that is a what type of feedback circuit it was connected. Okay, so if you have any problem like this, first you want to identify the feedback circuit, right? Then uh, we need to derive the transfer function. Okay, when you want to derive the transfer function, you want to uh, first draw the equal model. That is a small signal model. Okay, so first let me draw the common source because that is going to be a global model from this model only I am going to redraw for our given circuit. So when you take a common source, the source is going to be common, gate is going to be input and drain is going to be output and here you have a input voltage. So here you have a dependent current source towards the source current looking and uh, this is your model. So for given circuit, it is a, you can say, the input is clearly known, there is gate. The output is clearly known source. The common terminal is a drain. Okay, so let me put gate and source. So here, just look at this model. From this model, I can just rearrange. So gate, source, here. But here the gate source was arranged in the input and output. So here you will be having the VGS. Right here the drain is looking current towards the source. So here you want to put like this. Just reverse. So GM VGS. So the, though the current is going towards the load current. So we will be considering source current load current to be same direction. Right? And uh, this is a general uh, equal model. But when you look at the circuit, you can see uh, you have a RS, then this DC supply will be removed, that is a zero DC supply will be coming. 
then I want to introduce this RS in the circuit. So when you introduce the RS in the circuit, so that will introduce here RS. Right? So this is your uh, VI. Uh, this is your uh, VGS V0. And this is your V0. So plus minus. Okay. So this is a procedure to solve the put the to put the equivalent model from the given circuit okay so always you take the common source as a reference to draw the any circuit it will make your work very simple okay so we want to derive the transfer function here it was given directly avf equal to gmrs divided by 1 plus gmrs how how you obtain let me explain here so very simple so only thing is you want to understand the circuit clearly. AVF equal to your output voltage divided by input voltage. Right, your output voltage by input voltage. So what is the output voltage? The output voltage is nothing but your current into output resistance. What is your current? Your source current into drain source resistance. That is IS into RS. So this whole term is IS and this is your RS. Right? Now I want to find because you want to find a VA. To find a VA, I am going to apply the cable in the outermost loop. When you apply the cable in the outermost loop, what you will be getting? VA. VA. This will become minus V0. Minus VGS. Entering at a plus, leaving at a minus. Here plus minus. So plus symbol I have taken here. Here plus minus. So minus will come. When you rearrange this equation, just you take to the right side, you'll be getting this V A into the V G S plus V naught. So from this V G S you take outside. So you'll be getting V G S into one plus G M R S. So substitute plug in V naught and V A. Cancel G V G S and V G S. Finally, you'll be getting V G G M R S divided by one plus G M R S. Right. So this is a transfer function you obtained for your circuit so this formula you have to use okay so same it was utilized here now i want to know what is a gm so so gm you know that is 2 square root of kn id cube but i have given from the scratch level how the gm was written 2 into square root of kn into id cube so basically here is a total instantaneous voltage that is a dc and dac that gives vgsq and vi is nothing but your small signal voltage can be written as vgs and total instantaneous current that is kn vgs minus vtn volt square okay so now i will calculate the vgs so i substitute here so when you substitute you will be getting kn into vgsq plus vgs minus vtn volt square so just to rearrange in terms of uh, like a a plus b whole square formula so this uh, rearranged so this become a plus b whole square formula so a square plus b square plus 2ab so finally you got so this is uh, like a dc component and this is your ac component okay so you, this is from this this is like a harmonics i removed okay not considered for the evaluation so from this i have return the id equal to id q plus small id so i want only the small id to derive the gm the gm is nothing but the changes of uh, drain current small drain current with respect to the small voltage vgs so vgs you take to the downside so you'll be getting 2 kn vgs minus vtn okay so from this only it was written so gm equal to 2 square root of kn into id q already you know id equal to kn which is minus vtn whole square so if you substitute this and finally this will i mean 2 square root of kn into idq so i hope this is useful because it is given directly like this you don't know how it was obtained so i given step by step this will be uh, useful when you uh, find the transconductors right so here uh, now we will be finding transfer function on the uh, gm okay so gm first we will calculate 2 square root of kn into idq the kn is 1.5 and uh, idq is 1.2 it is given in the problem so we will be getting 2.683 and we want to find the transfer function so just plug in gm uh, derived so 1.5 it is a given resistance value so we will be getting 0 
so that's it so now we'll go for output impedance part it's very simple when you finding the output impedance part what you want to do is okay if you have a voltage source you want to short when you have a current source in the input side you want to make it a open circuit here you have a voltage source so you want to short it so here you have a vgs right then you have a current source gm vgs then you have, you have rs so now input is zero so in order to find output impedance i want to apply the testing voltage so consider you have r naught p naught you are applying so your output impedance it is r naught of is nothing but your dx divided by your ix okay so now uh, let me uh, uh, find how it was uh, obtained so you can find uh, like a is so uh, is what is the source current like a source current is nothing but a gm into vgs gm into vgs the input here i have short circuited right short circuited short circuited all right so so from this so this vgs not dependent to the input so only it is dependent to the v naught so i can from that statement i can write your is will be gm into v naught clear so when you calculate the output impedance so output impedance will be v naught divided by with gm vgs that is output voltage by the current that is ix here is a is so v not by ix that becomes v not by gm vgs right you know already the v not is equal to vgs so put that relation so v not v not will cancel so you will be getting 1 by g so we are calculated only for this part that is a output impedance we are not considered this rs here you have rs right so when you look at from this point let me take like ro dash so this is a uh, is of not a uh, is of not i have found so is of not dash will be 1 by gm parallel to your rs so this is your uh, equation it was derived here so let me take this z not dash is a r not f this my understanding i have customized as z not dash as a is a r not f so 1 by gm parallel to rs so 1 divided by 2.683 parallel to 1.5 you will be getting so this is a basic equation 0.3727 into 1.5 divided by 0.3727 plus 1.5 you will be getting this 299 ohms okay this is a simple method to identify your voltage transfer function and r not f for your given problem the second problem statement it was given when conduction parameter was increased by 15 percentage 50 percentage what is your updated value they asking so i am finding for the new value that is gm equal to 2 square root of k n into i d q so that's new k n value is 2.25 into 1.2 it will be getting 3.286 and the avf you want to plug in your gm new gm and your rs resistance will be getting 0.8313 so now i i want to find what is the change in the percentage very simple that is a new value which you obtain minus your old value divided by your old value right so new value that is a new transfer function value old to obtain value divided by your old value okay so you will be getting 0.0303 Divided by 0.801. So into 100, you will be getting 3.78. Same it was find it here. 3.78. Okay. Let me go for this R not F. So R not F. So for the new value, so you will be getting. Uh, so this is GM is 3.286, right? So this is a new value I have substituted. Before it was GM was like a 2.8 2.683 here it was 3.286 so finally it was 250 it was decreasing in the before resistance was 299 now it was 253 so you will be getting in the negative value so what is the formula you know it is a 
So, what is a uh, new value? Minus your old value divided by your old value. So 253 minus 299 divided by 299 into 100, you will be getting minus 15.4 percentage. 